How do professional traders calculate their rate of return? Well, there are actually many choices of how to calculate your equity change or rate of return. There's a simple return method, a compound return, an average return, time-weighted return, money-weighted return, unit valuation return, or an internal rate of return. So many choices. The choice that we have made in the Forex Smart Tools for the sophistication of the trade log is the time-weighted return, and in this video we want to explain why and how to do that. The compounded time-weighted rate of return is automatically done for you in version 2 of the Forex Smart Tools trade log. Let's take some examples now and see why compounded time-weighted rate of return is the best choice for you as a Forex trader. Let's begin with a simple example. Let's say we open an account with $1,000. We trade for a while and make $100. What's your return? Well, you simply take the ending value minus the beginning value and divide it by the beginning value. Pretty simple, right? We have 10% return. Now let's take another example. Let's say we open an account with $10,000. We trade for a while, we make $1,500. We take out a $1,000 profit as salary. Well done. Now we trade some more time. We make $900. Now we're going to take out $500 as salary. We get a bonus at work. $800 that we add to our account. Now we trade some more and we've lost $400. We want to step back now, let's say, and ask ourselves, What's my rate of return right now? Well, we can map out each event separately like this. We take the beginning period of time and our trade results, and then we look at whatever money we've added or withdrawn to our account, and then we look at the ending value for that period of time. So if we do that for this example, we see that we have four separate periods of time. Now a simple approach would just be to do a simple return method, which would just take the end minus the beginning divided by the beginning. So we'd have our ending value of 12,500 minus the beginning value of 10,000 and we divide by $10,000. That would give us a rate of return of 25%. But this method ignores the results of adding and subtracting money as we go. That bonus we put in, those profits we took out a salary, they're not really properly accounted for in how we're figuring it if we do a simple method. How would a pro approach this? And this is, by the way, this is a method that we've learned from the NFA, the National Futures Association, as we became CTAs. So this really is how the pros approach this situation. A pro would take the percentage of each period, each holding period, and then account for the additions and subtractions along the way, and figure that percent for each period separately. A pro would use this formula. It just means you take your market value at the end of the time, and you subtract out the market value at the beginning of the time. Then you add back any withdrawals that you've made, and you subtract out any additions that you've made. You take that and then you divide that whole figure by what your account started with at the beginning of this particular holding period or time period. If we do that for this example that we've looked at, we see on the far right here our time-weighted rate of return for each period. Then, one more step, the pro would take that percentage for each period of time and compound it together with the other percents for each holding period into one aggregate number. And this is the formula that's then used. 1 plus rate of return for our first holding period multiplied by 1 plus our rate of return for our second holding period. And so on and so on. We take that whole big number and we subtract 1 from it. In this case, for this example, that would mean we take 1 plus 15%, or another way of doing that is 1 plus 0 0.15, multiplied by 1 plus 
8.57% multiplied by 1 plus 11.01% multiplied by 1 minus 3.1% and then minus 1. What's that give us? 34.31%. This is a compounded time-weighted rate of return and is a much more accurate value for really knowing how you're doing in an account. Complicated, isn't it? Only if you're doing it by hand or trying to follow along and do it with a spreadsheet, making sure you don't make any mistakes as you go. But guess what? This is automatically done for you in version 2 of the Forex Smart Tools trade log. So you don't even really have to think about it. But it's just kind of nice to know what's going on in your benefit behind the scenes. Let's take one more example. You might be managing several different accounts at once or managing trading accounts for clients or friends or family. This is when you really need to be using compounded time-weighted rate of return values. In the Forex Smart Tools trade log, Pro version, you have the option of creating managed groups for any summary or analysis preset or any view that you want to see how it's doing. You can create a managed group as easily as just choosing Manage Groups from the drop-down Broker Account and then choosing which brokers you want to look at. Here's three that we've chosen here. Now these could be individual accounts that you yourself own or if you're a fund manager these might be different clients each held in the same account or through different accounts. Let's say you have one client who's invested some money with you. Or again, this might be one account that you yourself have opened and put some money into. Time goes along, you're trading that, and then you open a separate account and put some more money into it. Or as a fund manager, you take on a new client who gives you some more money to trade. You're doing well, and your first client gives you some more money to trade with. Now your second client says, ooh, that's a great idea. I think I'm going to give you some more money too. Or again, this could be you just putting more money into your second account to trade. You open a third account or another client comes along and opens a different account sometime down the road. Now your first client takes out some money and you're left thinking, what is my rate of return if I want to look at all of this all together? Yikes, now that is a thorny problem. Again, it's only thorny if you're trying to do it yourself or trying to do it on a spreadsheet. But if you're using the Forex Smart Tools trade log, it's pretty easy because the trade log does it for you. How does that happen? Well, each event is treated in our formula as a new holding period. Whether that event is money being deposited, money being withdrawn, a new account being opened, or an existing account being closed. The HPR, in other words, the holding period return, is calculated for each individual event. Then, after the time-weighted rate of return is calculated for each individual holding period, it is then compounded together into 1% figure, just like we showed for example number 2. If you're interested in learning more details about these calculations or seeing these formulas in more depth, we have more information about this available in the Forex Smart Tools newsletter series. The newsletter series is a free, no obligation, series of educational pieces about trading Forex. You're welcome to sign up for it at the website shown here, forexsmarttools.com.